Are you in a rut with your photography? Do you feel like you're just shooting the same pictures over and over again, or maybe just feel like there's nothing worth photographing at all? Have you lost your passion for photography? If so, then this video is for you. It's the first in a series of videos designed to help you get some photographic inspiration and get out of your rut. By definition, the basic strategy of getting out of a rut is to try something different, but that's easier said than done. So I've identified five ways to try something different with your photography. Now some of these strategies are specific to film photography, but a couple of them do apply to digital too. So now the five different categories for trying something new to get out of your photographic rut. Number one, new process or technique. Number two, try specialty film or a different medium. Number three, try some new filters. Now this can be film or digital. Number four, new format or novelty camera. And number five, new subject matter. Now today's example straddles number one and number two because it involves an alternative process and a specialty film. The process is film soup where you soak your film in different liquids to get all kinds of unpredictable effects in your final images. Now ordinarily I do this myself after I've shot the film, but this time I ordered some pre-souped film from Hannah Logital on Etsy. She soaked the film in her secret sauce, dried it, and then sent it to me. Now if you soup your film before you shoot it, there is a little risk of gunking up your camera, so I used one of my $2.25 Canon Rebel TIs. I figured if it ruined my camera, I'm only out a couple bucks. The two flavors of film I ordered from Hannah Logital are Opal and Fluorite. And I'm going to share some highlights with you right now. Stick around after the images and I'll share my final thoughts on film soup. So if you're bored with your photography, film soup can be a great way to shake things up. You get all these organic shapes and colors and patterns, and there's no way to predict what you're going to get ahead of time. 
Film Soup might just spark your creativity and help you get your photographic mojo back. Now, exposing your film to these different liquids can potentially mess with the developing chemicals, so I usually develop film soup myself with an old set of C41 chemistry that's already on its way out. If you don't develop it yourself, make sure your lab is cool with souped film. Some labs won't touch it, so double check with your lab ahead of time. I've got a lot more videos coming up in this series, so if you want to catch those videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you want to check out more film soup, I've got a whole film soup playlist popping up on the screen now. Until next time, do some good, have some fun, and shoot some film.